What's up, Husky Bass Heads? Uh, so, it's like really dark out here. It's kind of late. Uh, and I'm actually not going to start this project until in the morning because we've already lost all our daylight. But anyway, what we're going to be doing in today's video is um, just making a couple of modifications to the car. Um, there is a audio show and competition coming up in Chandler, Arizona called IFO or Import Face-Off. And I've never been to one, so I'd like to go. Um, there are a couple things I would like to change in the car, some real quick changes before we go. One of them is um, changing some of the power wire runs from the fuse box, fuse block, excuse me, that SMD to the amp. Uh, I got a lot of comments on my last video with this car about um, the wiring that I need furls that I got like strays hanging out everywhere. Um, and that's absolutely right. I mean, it kind of looks like crap. I don't really like the way it looks. It didn't really come out the way I wanted. Some of my runs are like this long. And with that welding cable, you cannot manipulate it. I mean, it's like just a big piece of, you can't bend it. You can't do crap with it. And that I need some uh, um, input reducers, some amp reducers, you know, the little input things. Again, you guys are right for that. Uh, I do. And so I got some. And so we're going to be making some changes there. And then going to be changing the port tuning a little bit. Um, it's tuned in the dirt right now. It's tuned at 20 hertz. I'm going to bring it up to like 25, 26. I know that that's not going to get me a meter score. You know, I don't really care, but I do want it tuned a little higher so I can get something on the board to see how loud this thing gets. And there's a, a DB contest, so <clears throat> this will be a good chance for me to just meter this thing and see what it's doing. So uh, hopefully we'll have some footage of that uh, at the end of the video. Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots I tell you get big box, you get yachts you Swing locks and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient So one thing we're gonna do today Is clean up this wiring I just don't like that, that has been bugging me since day one uh, This didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to this welding cable is just way too stiff. So, uh, I don't know. We're gonna do something a little bit different with that just to make it look better. Uh, the first step in that is gonna be to pull out this port so that we can get a little bit better access to that fuse block right there. Well, that's way too slow. So, uh, you know, one thing that makes the job easier is using the right tool. So as you can see, what we're using to clean up that big welding cable are these things. These are by New Concepts. This is a 4 aught to one aught reducer. And as you can see, man, that makes a big difference in the way that looks. It just looks so much better. This 
compared to that. So we're gonna be using uh, a combination of these as well as these and some wire ferrules to just clean all that up. So let me get some of that done and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, much better. We got these two ground sides cleaned up with those new concepts. Um, reducers, now you can see they are offset. So to get these to fit next to each other, I did have to flip one of them around. Now, a really important step before we move any further is we removed all these fuses, right? One thing you would hate to have happen is have this arc against that and then you blow your amp internals because you didn't remove power, right? So now these don't have any power going to them. So if that touches that, then nothing's gonna happen. Uh, but if you leave those fuses in there, they're getting power. And then you gotta be real careful not to touch anything or else you're gonna ruin your very expensive equipment. <clears throat> All right, well, looking kind of crazy in here. There's the wires rerun, and my problem was, and I really probably should have thought this out a little better, maybe moved this further that way, but the gap from here to here is like three inches. I mean, so getting a little bitty stubby run to go from here to here just, you know, is was actually harder than it seemed like it was, and it didn't really look very good. So I uh, use these big kind of loops like that we got two here with a double in imp uh, dual input right there then we got a four out run going right there like that then we got just like a singular i don't know i mean way overkill right like i don't need all this especially since these really short runs but i don't know looks interesting looks different got our four out grounds and then a dual input ground right here so you know Thing's definitely wired up right. I mean, more than enough. Overkill and overkill again. Uh, but now all we got left to do is put that port back in there. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about tuning it a little higher. Just not not because I don't like it playing down low. But um, if I just leave this end on there, it'll tune the box to about 25. <coughs> And uh, I don't know, I kind of want to see what it does with that. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Well, I did end up, oop, oop, let's put it down before you break something. All right, I did end up taking in a section of it off. Uh, it's actually tuned to about 26 now with this length. Uh, since I am going to an SPL contest tomorrow, I just didn't see the point of having it tuned to 20. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I have no idea what this thing does on the meter, but I'd love to do like a 150, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what it'll do, but we'll play around with it and see what it does. All right, well, there you have it. So I had a great time at the show. Uh, got a meter score. Um, would have loved that to be a closer to a 150, but you know, it is what it is, all things considered with that really low tuned box. What do you expect? Um, I gotta say the guys that were running that competition were great. I've never done one of these and so I didn't really know what to do or what to expect and they were very helpful. They uh, put me in a particular class and explained to me why I was in that class. Um, one guy, uh, one of the guys running the table gave me some pointers on what to do next time. You know, it was just a great experience. Um, but I've already got some changes in mind to make to maybe get the score a little higher. I don't know. Stay tuned and I guess you guys will find out what I'm about to do. Uh, but anyway, that concludes this video, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching.